To add photos, click the blue circle with the plus sign on the right side of the screen. The file manager for your system will open, and then you'll navigate to the photos you want to upload. You can select a single photo or more than one. I have five photos to upload, so I'm going to hold down my shift key and then click to select them all. Next, I need to indicate whether or not a Northstorm Less subscriber took these photos. If the list agent or another agent or subscriber on the team took the photos, click yes. But if a professional photographer, the seller, or any other third party non-MLS subscriber took the photos, then you need to answer no. This is important for accurately copywriting and protecting the photos in the system from theft and unauthorized use. Keep in mind you're answering this question for all the photos you're uploading. So if you have some photos where the answer is yes and others where it's no, you need to upload them in separate groups. After you've selected your photos, click the Add Photo button. That will take me back to the main screen showing all my photos. Let's look at how we can manage them from here. Hover over any photo and click the dot in the upper left to select and deselect it. Sometimes photos don't come out of your camera in the upright position. Click this icon with the arrow if you want to rotate your photo. You can rotate clockwise in 90 degree increments. Clicking the trash can icon will of course delete your photo, but don't worry if you click it by accident. The system will prompt you to confirm that you want to delete it. Both rotating and deleting photos can be done from multiple photos at once. Just use that dot to select your photos and then use these rotate and delete icons at the bottom of the screen. Notice the blue star on this photo in the upper left position. That means it is the primary photo and will be the photo that shows first on all MLS displays and reports, as well as broker, agent, and third-party websites. When I uploaded my photos, this bedroom photo went into the primary spot. But I want the exterior shot to be primary. So I'm going to click and hold on the exterior photo, drag it over into that upper left primary position, and release. The exterior photo is now in that primary photo position and has the blue star. Let's take a quick look at an alternative to drag and drop. First, I select my exterior photo, then click the star icon here at the bottom of the screen, and that will make it the primary photo. You can also easily rearrange your other photos, one at a time, using drag and drop. Whatever order you have them in is the order they will appear in the MLS Photo Viewer. Hopefully you take advantage of the ability to add descriptions to your photos. Each photo has an Add Description box underneath. Simply click in the box and type your description. In addition to this summary view of the photos, we have a slideshow view. Click on any photo to open it. On this screen, you can add or change your description below the photo. Click the arrows on either side of the photo to advance through the series. Or, you can select from the thumbnails which photo you want to look at. Here at the bottom are your icons for setting a photo as primary, rotating a photo, and deleting a photo. To go back to the main screen, be sure to click the Save button if you made any changes. If you didn't make any changes, you can click the Cancel button. As with any portion of the system, if you need help, click this eye icon at the top right. For photos, we have information on photo requirements, such as file size and optimum dimensions. Click these three dots in the upper right if you want a printable guide or to watch the help video. Click the X to close the help screen. When you are finished with your photos, you can choose to move on to supplements, virtual tours, open houses, or click the back arrow in the upper left to return to the main Add Edit screen. If you have any questions, we're happy to help. Here are the phone number and email address for our help desk.